Most districts go back to school in just a few weeks, but some administrators are hard at work right now, still trying to make sure they have enough teachers. News 18's Dustin Grove is here now with a closer look at a statewide teaching shortage and how local school districts are feeling the impact. Dustin? Yeah, Jeff and Gina, this is an issue News 18 first looked into about one year ago. Since then, district leaders have continued to adapt, but they say the numbers are still concerning. We're going to be starting school in less than a month. Inside Lafayette schools. Our HR department here has been working uh, feverishly trying to fill the positions. Teaching positions. This week they have seven left to fill. Our principals are out as soon as they get a lead on a candidate. Uh, they're contacting them, getting them in. Uh, checking their skill sets. And this year, Superintendent Les Huddle says the positions they thought they'd easily fill, For example, English, have been anything but. Can't give you reason other than maybe the total downturn in the number of applicants and number of students going into the field of teaching. Administrators say they're feeling the local impact of a statewide teacher shortage. A 63% drop in the number of first-time teachers licenses issued over the last three years. We've definitely seen a decline in the number of applicants. At Tippecanoe School Corporation, Superintendent Scott Hanback says mostly in math, science, and special ed, and at the elementary level, too. Some years in the past, we might have had upwards of, you know, 85 to 100 applicants for one position. Whereas this summer, that number seems to be closer to 40 or 50. Across the state, some school leaders have blamed the problem in part on funding constraints, testing pressure, and a blame the teacher mentality. As News 18 first reported last year, districts have adapted, in part by expanding their recruitment efforts beyond state borders. Today, Handback says that's helped. We are starting to see applicants from other states who are desiring to, you know, take a position in, in, in Indiana or even locally here in Lafayette. Huddle says Lafayette schools are doing the same. Both administrators agree teaching is a calling. They say more needs to be done to get prospective teachers to answer. We're not doing a good enough job on um, selling our profession that it is still a good career and good profession to go into. Superintendent Huddle told me even though they're still working on hiring, he feels good about where they are today and where they'll be when school starts. As for TSC, administrators say despite fewer applicants, they're still attracting high quality candidates in part, they say, because of their stepped up recruitment, recruitment efforts. Dustin Grove, News 18.